Nigerian farmers have been advised to practice intensive agriculture by using quality and authenticated seeds that will guarantee improved food production and sustainability. The Director General of the National Agricultural Seeds Council gave the suggestion at a meeting with farmers and stakeholders held at Ibadan. Olaide Oyewole has the story. Established in 2007, the National Agricultural Seeds Council is an agency of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, created in line with the provisions of the National Agricultural Seeds Act, 1992. The body is charged with the overall development and regulation of the national seed industry. The, crop variety, the DG uh, says the agency would not hesitate to sanction farmers to who refuse to patronize seeds which have been approved in the market. For such seeds, when they need, what they need to do is to report such seed dealers to the nearest mask office for action. We are saying that if seeds are in the market and they don't carry the seed codex, which actually a contravention of the law, stakeholders and farmers should report to the NASC nearest office for action. He said the agency has developed technological methods through which the genetic and physical characteristic of seeds could be improved. The NASC equally introduced the National Seed Tracker a web application for enhanced operational efficiency for seed companies registration and real-time tracking of a quality assurance process. The technology firstly deployed by NSC in partnership with IITA has been exported to other countries. The agency also hinted on how to identify unapproved seeds. The original certified seed are actually in packed containers. Seeds are not sold in open containers. That is one thing that is very important. But one crucial thing is that all those containers are fixed with C codex. And C codex is a tag developed by the NASC that gives an assurance of the quality that is inherent in the seed containers. The DG said the sensitization is part of measure put in place that is targeted at reducing the adverse effect of COVID-19 on the agri-sector. Oladio Yewale, TVC News, Ibadan.